Konami. This must be Metal Gear. Right? Right? Nah. You're way off. Much cooler. It's Let's Play Rocket Knight Adventures. And I'm Mike Mnemonic. And we're going to play Rocket Knight Adventures today. A Genesis game from 1993. Side scroller 2D. Very entertaining. Loved playing it when I was younger. It, uh, by default, has two difficulty levels. Easy, which is insanely easy. And hard, which is a little more challenging. But if you beat the game, or if you do like I just did and looked up the code on the internet, you get not only one, but two extra difficulty settings. Very hard, which is harder. And the aptly titled Crazy Hard. Which, if memory serves me correct, is the one hit, you're dead, no continues, I'm going to fuck you over mode of the game. And originally, I was going to try to play it on this mode. You know, and save after every round. But, I haven't played this game in a while, and I'm not that delusional as to think that I'm going to be able to do that after so long, so... We're going to go with hard, because if I remember correctly on easy mode you miss out on the final boss I may be wrong but that's why we're going with hard so without further ado we enter the story with Sparkster standing on the mountain the kingdom behind him him looking diligently forward to the ghostly presence of the devilous pig or emperor devilous devilous or something like that I don't remember I got the instruction manual. I'll look it up later. But the main thing is we want his ass. You might be asking why. Well, it's coming up. Do you see that in the background? That son of a bitch sent a giant spider and a warship at the castle. No shit. I mean, that's a bit of overkill, right? So yeah, we want him. We want him bad. We are going to kill him many times over. So basically, if you learn nothing else from this game, learn this. Possums rock, and pigs are the source of all evil. That's what I learned from this game. Maybe you'll learn something different, like uh, morals or some crap. I don't know. But basically, you have, uh, you know, basic controls. You can jump, move around. You attack with your sword, and it's got a little bit of a slash projectile going out of it. But the main feature of this game, the one that is hyped up and lives up to that hype, is the frickin' rocket pack, which allows you to travel in eight directions with your sword to kill things. Unless you stand still and let go. Then you do a spinning slash thing, which is also cool. I plan on spamming the hell out of that. Because it's a useful move. But sometimes just using your regular slash will work too. So yeah, I get used to seeing these pigs a lot because they are the main father of this entire game. And now you come across some of our power-ups to be found. Apples, which will restore a little bit of health. But most importantly, that one-up, which, for whatever reason, I just cannot seem to get. Because it's been a while. I haven't played this in a while. And I suck at these controls. Especially on a keyboard. I do have a USB controller, but we're not configuring that today. Because I'm lazy. Ambush time! Yeah, real slick. No! You gotta love how those pigs just get their butts kicked and their armor flies off like something out of Ghosts and Goblins. Frickin' hilarious. And so is this pig tank. Because it thinks it's going to kill Sparkster. It's dead wrong. Even if the flame did hit. But we're going to exploit it. Because exploiting it is what we're all about. 
the sparkster knows if he would get back there. Well, never mind. We're not going to exploit its weakness and get behind it. We have too much honor. And now Sparkster demonstrates his abilities that he copied from Jesus by walking on water. I mean, sure. Why not? Not only can he hang from his tail, but he's able to walk upon the water surface. And now we come here. Yeah, we're just going to stand here for a bit. Because this is the only time I really check out the idle animation. And without further ado, the first of many shooter stages. Well, not that many. There's probably like, I don't know, three or four total in the game. This is the first. And yeah, those robots, I can't tell what they're supposed to look like, but they got pig balloons. So that makes them evil. And as we've learned already, Sparkster hates all things evil. No negotiating with evil from Sparkster, no. The only negotiating we do is with a blade. Second mini-boss, the dragon. We hate you. We hate you so much we're going to chop off your frickin' head. Because we don't like messing with you. Enough of this dicking around. It's time to get to the castle. Who needs a front door? Right through the wall. Inside the castle, the citizens are panicking. Oh no, what are we gonna do? What's the big problem? I don't see any pro- What the hell? Swine with their asses on fire. How stupid can they be? I mean, they can jump. Look at them, they're jumping. So how'd they get their asses on fire? It seems pretty avoidable to me. As I come across this self-exploratory ricochet area. And there's the culprit. The moving wall of fire. How does a wall of fire move on its own? I don't know. I really don't. And where did it come from? I mean, it wasn't there a minute ago. But here it is wanting to kill me well that's okay because even though it doesn't make the level move on its own it's a wuss and we escape it easily and here are gems pretty pointless they give you some points which is uh, okay if you care about scores but Sparster's a rocket knight he gives not a damn about points. All he cares about is honor and killing pigs. Because he was once a butcher and used to slice up bacon for a living. Well, not really. Actually, his story is... Uh, he was adopted by either one of the founders or key members of the Rocket Knights, who went by the name of Mifun Sanjulo, I think. Present time! What can it be? It's gotta be good, right? Uh-uh. -huh. You piss Sparkster off. Prepare to get your rectum reamed. That's right. That's how we do rectum reamings. With a sword. And what the hell is that? A boss? Could be. But first, bananas. Possum loves bananas. Boss time. Getting hit by the head, not something you want to do. No, you want to chop the head as it comes smashing through the walls, thinking it's all badass. Well, it's not. And I am running out of time. But we will not be going over 11 minutes. Because Sparkster doesn't have to put up with that crap. You are a wuss. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Come on now. Sparkster commands you to eat it. Ah. Well, I thought I was going to beat this on time. Maybe.
No. Instead, I'm going to get my butt kicked. Here we go. Epic pose! Yes! And that's how we play Rocket Knight Adventures. This has been Mike Mnemonic. I'll be back.